Hello, this is Seasonal Outdoors with Aaron. That's me. Anyway, I'd like to talk about the Washington state law, roadkill. Now, when it, when it became legal to collect roadkill off the road, I was getting excited because A, you don't have to buy a license. B, you don't have to waste a bunch of gas going uh, hunting. And I do like to hunt. This year, during, due to COVID, I actually didn't buy a hunting license. I like to buy a hunting license. This year I did not. But or earlier this year, September, October, I can't remember the exact date, found myself a roadkill and I actually cleaned it up, took care of it. And it was a year and a half old. I call those yearlings. It was not a fawn and it was not a full grown adult. And a little button head buck. Okay, so it yielded about 30 pounds of meat. Anyway, a lot of times when I find them, I want to stick my hand under their armpit, make sure they're still warm. I like to get them during the winter time when it's really cold. So this morning, it's uh, December 12th, getting close to Christmas. I'm on my way to shoot a video up in the woods, and I happen to find another roadkill with my wife. So I'm going to show the roadkill to you. This one here is a little doe. Again, it's a yearling. About a year and a half old it's not what it's it's not with its mother no more and again it'll yield about 30 pounds of meat it has broken leg and i don't see any major damage on it other than that so i'm not going to go through all the gory details and show you how to clean it anything like that that's for other hunting shows to show but i thought i'd do this video because some of my relatives hear me talk about it and some people get squeamish about it, but if you shoot an animal, this is going to be how it lays on the ground in front of you after you've shot it and it's dead. So be aware of that. I'm sad to see that this animal's life was taken by a vehicle, but it's not going to go to waste. So I'll get back to you on my wrap up on how much poundage of meat this yielded and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here's the wrap up. 10 pounds worth of steak. I got 21 pounds worth of burger. Sorry about the lighting in here. I'm in a bedroom with some lights and it's causing shadows. But that was grindable meat. And we got a lot more than just 21 pounds of burger. But we ended up with 10 pounds of steak. I had a buddy come over. I shared uh, the venison with him. He brought bacon. And he also brought beef fat. We mixed that together so I know we had well over 30 pounds of ground up venison. Anyway, the meat was free. Nothing wrong with the animal at all. It had a broken leg. It had broken ribs. None of the area where, where the brakes were was uh, bloodshot at all. So literally, no wasted meat. Some of the scraps went to some birds outside my house. They were circling me as I was skinning the animal, so I decided to put scraps for them to collect. And uh, the rest went up into the woods for bears, coyotes, whatever picks it up. So anyway, again, there's nothing wrong with roadkill. You should look up the uh, roadkill laws in your local area. Some states will let you do it, some won't. In the state of Washington, you have 24 hours to claim online your roadkill you also need to know if you're traveling and you happen to get a roadkill make sure you know the area which highway in between what mile markers or just street intersections if, if you get them in a town or whatnot so do know the laws you do have 24 hours we've done it we were driving along my wife spotted the deer and she claimed it so i didn't even claim it i just had to butcher it so Anyway, again, thanks for watching. That's the wrap up, 31 pounds of meat. I hope you liked this informational video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons on my channel. It'll go a long ways in helping me make more videos. Again, thanks for watching.